Hey, good people. Trigger warning, trigger warning, okay? I'm doing the Killer Mike Challenge. And for at least the next couple weeks, in honor of Valentine's Day coming up, and trigger warning with Killer Mike, I'm gonna get a little sexy-ish. Not too much, because I, I, don't, I don't do all that, but I'm gonna pull out a couple little cute things, you know, and see if I can get more people to pay attention, especially the fellas. If they don't care about crafts and doing nothing they self other than some machismo shit and um you know i'm i'm here to break barriers and uh, abandon taboo so here we go for frugal friday in honor of the valentine's day coming up we will make ourselves some sexy bath salts today okay i'm just doing a real quick basic tutorial on it because well because you just need to get the gist okay you want to get a bowl you can go ahead and get you some regular epsom salt i got this from walgreens I got this one from the Walmart. Whatever. Just regular Epsom salt. Nothing fancy. Don't get the kind that got bullshit in it already. Just get the plain. And then I like to also use Himalayan pink salt. So I got this from Ross or Marshalls or something like that. You can get the Epsom salt at the dollar store. You can also get the pink, the Himalayan pink, more coarse salt. You want to get some rose petals. I got dry uh, pink rose petals and rose buds. You can actually go to your produce market. A lot of them, they sell flowers or actually sell you a bag of rose petals. But, if you want to be real frugal, you need to just go down to your local florist, okay? And just ask them if you can have the flower petals off the floor. And they, they, they don't sell them or nothing. They're just going to give them to you. You can, you can get yourself some lavender buds. You can do chamomile. Any type of flowers, okay? Or herbals like eucalyptus, whatever. Depending on what kind you want to make. Today, we're going to do a floral bath salt. And that's just going to help relax you if you have insomnia, anxiety, depression, or just restlessness, fatigue, whatever. Uh, this particular one will help you with it, okay? Just to show you what mine looks like after the fact. You could go to the shop and purchase this if you want to. Um, you know, if you ain't into making your own stuff. It's $15 for the large size like this here. And lastly, you need some type of essential oils, whatever you like. You could do lavender which is what we're going to use today, and that's going to help with insomnia, depression, anxiety, anything like that. You can do tea tree oil that'll help with any type of, like, um, skin ailment, or if you have, like, a, um, a yeast infection, anything like that, you can use the tea tree oil in your bath salt. Um, that'll help soothe your muscles. Eucalyptus also is good for soothing your muscles. Um, congestion, peppermint is good for headaches. You'll get the idea. I'm not going to do this whole shebang. I'm going to just do a basic one. But I also have little minis. And I usually put these in gift sets. But, you know, you can, you know. Just different packaging, you can see. When you want to make this for gifts for somebody, you can use tins. You can use, you know, bottles. You can use jars. You can recycle something. Whatever you want. But anyway, you need a bowl. Just real basic. So we're going to get into a nail. Real easy. You gonna take your Epsom salt, right? A lot of times it'd be chunky, like in the bag. Just, just break it up. If you got some dead sea salt laying around or something like that, you wanna use, go for it. But I like the coarse pink salt. So Cause give it a nice, cute, look nice. You know. Now we are gonna do rose petals here, and it's no particular measurement. It's just preference whatever you have a much you know flowers you want in there that's how much you put in there and then we're going to do some lavender then you're going to take your essential oils and you just need a few drops of essential oil now also if you want to add a little bit of a moisturization to this or something that's going to leave your skin feeling smooth when you're done Get a few drops of, of a carrier oil, such as almond oil or jojoba oil, coconut oil. You can use olive oil if you have something in the house, you know, in the kitchen. Use what you got. Coconut oil is fine. And then that's it. So now you got a floral bath salt, right? And if you want to make this for yourself, you can just put it in a jar and keep it by the tub and you're done. But if you want to make it as a gift, and again, you don't have to get fancy. You can get some fancy packaging. You can get a little Ziploc bag. 
You can get these at the dollar store. They're going to be called snack bags. And then you can fill it up all the way. You can fill it up halfway. Then I like to squeeze the air out and fold it over. I have some twine. And I have a little cute heart tchotchke here. I'm going to call this a heart doily, but it's a tag. See the hole in there? So then I like to wrap my little packages like this. Kind of like back in the olden days how the butcher would wrap your meat. So then... So once you tie it, then you write whatever love note or, you know, hey, this is your gift, whatever, on your tag. Cut off your excess string. Now, just that simple. Now, how cute is this? It's freaking super cute. Okay, so there you go. Now, you know how to make your own bath salts. Make some for your friend, make some for your partner, your love, yourself. Give it as a gift, whatever. That's it for today. I hope you guys learned something. And make sure you share this video. Follow if you aren't already following. Like and comment below. What did you think? All right, for my fellas out there, did you learn anything? Did you get interested in making bath salts? Okay, at all today? I don't know, whatever. We're going to see how it goes. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Be decent to yourself, then be decent to everybody else. Bye.